question 3a part 3. So we've got our normal distribution for weights of apples, our source, and they have a mean of 310 grams with a standard deviation of 4.5 grams. Okay, so we've got some quality control process here and it's talking about there are, should be one, or tw one in 20 bottles considered overweight. And if it's bigger than that, then we need to adjust the machine. Um, but they define that overweight means one in, that one in 20. And so we want to know how many grams of sauce will it contain before it's considered overweight. So we are looking for not a... Um, regular NCD mode on our calculator but instead we're actually looking at the inverse normal calculation and the reason for that is we've been given this information about 1 in 20 so let's turn 1 in 20 into a decimal and that's going to be 0 0.05 now it's talking about bottles being overweight so we're talking about bottles that whose weights are at the top end here so you can see I'm just colouring in that top end and that top end should only be 0 0.05, should not be bigger than that, if the machine's working correctly. So we want to find the weight, so that's our value of x, we want to find the value of x so that that area is 5%, or 1 in 20. So under our inverse normal distribution, we've first of all got to say what kind of tail it is. And you can see on the diagram there, I've shaded in the tail on the right hand side. So we've got a right tail. Then we need to tell it um, what the area is. Sorry, I just went blank for a moment. The area is going to be 0 0.05. Then we're going to give it our standard deviation and our mean, which we've got over the page there. And then we're going to hit enter, and that's going to give us an x value of 317.4 grams. So that tells us that's the weight at which 5% of bottles should be above.